Namaste, today, I'm going to tell you the story of Yajnavalkya and Maitreyi, the world beyond, from Brihadaranayaka Upanishad. Yajnavalkya was a sage who had two wives, Maitreyi and Katyayani. One day, he decided to renounce the world and divide his wealth among his two wives. He called them and said, I'm going to leave this world and seek the Supreme Self. I have divided my wealth between you two. Take your share and live happily. Maitreyi, who was a wise and learned woman, asked him, My dear, if I get all the wealth in the world, will I become immortal? Yajnavalkya said, No, wealth can only give you worldly pleasures, but not immortality. You will still be subject to death and sorrow. Maitreyi said, Then what is the use of wealth that cannot make me immortal? Please teach me the highest knowledge that can make me immortal. Yajnavalkya was pleased by her question and said, You are indeed a true companion, for you seek the same thing as I do. Come, sit with me and I will teach you the highest knowledge of the self, which alone can make you immortal. He then taught her that the self is the essence of all beings, and that one who knows the self as one's own self becomes one with the self and transcends death. He said, The self is not this body, nor this mind, nor this intellect, nor this ego, nor these senses, nor these elements, nor these worlds. The self is beyond all these. The self is the witness of all these. The self is the knower of all these. The self is the blissful, eternal, and infinite reality. He also taught her that the self is the source of all joy, and that one who knows the self as the blissful self enjoys infinite bliss. He said, the self is not dependent on anything else for its happiness. The self is self-sufficient, self-luminous, and self-existent. The self is the cause of all joy, and the joy of all joys. The self is the ocean of bliss, and the bliss of the ocean. He then gave her an example to illustrate his point. He said, Imagine a man who has everything he desires, wealth, power, fame, beauty, health, family, friends, etc. He is happy because of these things, but his happiness is not complete, because he still fears losing them. He is still attached to them, and therefore, he is still bound by them. Now imagine another man who has nothing he desires, he is poor, powerless, obscure, ugly, sick, lonely, etc. He is unhappy because of these things, but his unhappiness is not absolute, because he still hopes to gain them. He is still attached to them, and therefore, he is still bound by them. Now imagine a third man who has neither attachment nor aversion to anything, he is content with whatever he has, and he is indifferent to whatever he does not have. He is happy not because of anything, but because of himself. He is free from all bondage, and therefore, he is free from all sorrow. He is the one who knows the self as the blissful self, and he is the one who enjoys infinite bliss. Matrei listened to Yajnavalkya's teachings with rapt attention and understood the essence of the self. She said, My dear, you have indeed taught me the highest knowledge. I have no more questions. I have no more doubts. I have realized the self as my own self, and I have become one with the self. I have attained immortality. I have attained bliss. Yajnavalkya was overjoyed by her realization and said, You have indeed attained immortality. You have indeed attained bliss. You are indeed a true companion, for you have become one with me. You are indeed a true Brahman, for you have become one with Brahman, the Supreme Self. This is the story of Yajnavalkya and Maitreyi. The World Beyond from Brihadaranayaka Upanishad. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more stories from the Upanishads. Thank you for watching. Namaste.